Hi guys, Darren from Ven Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express. Up first, you would have seen Taz Lima from Taz Lima Mayer Art. After me, we have Christy from Creations by Christy. Then we have Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art. Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. And last but not least, Tony, the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So stay on board and enjoy the ride. Now, today, I'm just going to have a little bit of fun. So I've got an 8-inch cradled round here that I've made up. I've put some pillow paint down, which is British Paints Low Sheen, as always. My colours are, this one's Magma Magenta by Eye Candy, which I'm just about out of. Okay, so we've got that one. We'll get some Arc Orange, which is another eye candy. Love that colour. Alright, so that's our Arc Orange. We're going to get some... Pebio. I think this is red blue or red violet, something like that. Can't quite remember. Mixed it up last week, so memory's not the greatest there, Wombat. Oh no, right. Okay, what else? Firebird Red, which is another eye candy. have some Senshi Red. This is another gorgeous colour. I'm dropping bits of black paint in it. Nice job, Wombat. Doesn't matter, it's all good. Um, now, what I'm going to do is grab some gold CA, put a couple of drips here and there, going to grab some purple CA, couple of drips here and there. Close enough. I'm going to grab my plastic pink, which is another eye candy. One of my personal favourites. And we have some Southern Ocean Blue, which is by Matisse. A little sprinkle of that all the way around. All right. Grab the palette knife, which is this big dude. Lay some cell activator on it. So what I usually do is lay a whole heap on like that. Tilt it round till it fully covers it. And then let it drip off. And that should be more than enough to do this little guy. Let's 
So do a radial. Like that. Dun, 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 dun. Grab my straw. Give it a bit of a blow, get things moving along. Now, what I am going to do is spin that out. So put it in the middle of the spinner. a bit got to be careful because I've cleaned all the old paint off the glass top spinner so everything moves around real easy when it's got paint underneath it all right and it makes it really hard to pop it up too so we'll just push it there we go All right, that's what we're starting with. Then what I'm going to do is, because I'm nuts, grab some black pillow paint, which is British Paint's exterior, low sheen. And I'm going to lay it down. just in different places around the joint. Like that. <laughs> wrecked it okay this is where the fun bit comes in so I've got myself a little stainless steel ball bearing Where's the camera there it is doop, doop, doop. and we're gonna have a bit of fun with it so I'm just gonna roll this little guy around And make some crazy patterns with it. Definitely takes a bit of practice. As you can tell by the colour of my hands. and then drop it off plop where is it perfect catch right so we'll put that to one side once we've got that like that I'm going to grab a skewer okie dokie found one All right and just Add a few little bits here and there. Like that. 
get rid of some of this paint. I might pop some bubbles before I go any further. Yeah, if you keep that torch moving, you're not going to burn the paint. It's when you stop in one spot and hold it too long is when you cook it. All right. How cool does that look? All right. So we'll put that one down. Go for the center. See if I can get this spin out right, because last time it flew off. And destroyed itself, so that's why my hands are this colour already. Hey Nathan, look at these hands! Alright, so we'll give that a bit more of a spin. This is the cheat way of doing your embellishments. A lot of the time I don't have sit time to sit there with Posca pens like Kales does and draws in her cool stuff. I just add it to the paint. <laughs> I cheat. Alright, so we'll pop a few more of these bubbles. Alright, see if I can pop it up. I might use this tiny little dude. He might fit under better. There it goes. Alright. And you end up with trippy stuff like that. How cool is that? All right, what I'll do is I'll do a flyover of it so you can get a good close look at it. But they're a whole heap of fun. Fun to mess around with. You get some crazy patterns. And then you can go in and do little bits and pieces as well. Or once it's dry, you can go in and add different embellishments to it. Loads of fun. Really, really effective. So, Plus you don't have to use the black pillow paint. You know, you can use just a different colour that you've got laying around or whatever. It doesn't even need to be pillow paint. It can be whatever colour you've got. So, same stuff as what you do for a bloom or a swipe. Works really well. Torch a few more bubbles that are popping up. And that is it. Alright guys, hopefully you liked that one. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. Bring that notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. If you're a member of Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, drop your comments in there. That way I can get back to any questions a lot quicker than what I can on YouTube. So, all right, guys. Up next, we have Christy from Creations by Christy. So, if you click on the name in the title of this video, it'll take you to her YouTube channel. If you are in the live chat, just click on the links that I'm putting in there, and it'll take you to her premiere. Or, if you're a member of Venom Fluid Art on Facebook. There'll be a complete playlist there for you to just click on. It plays everybody on the Express today, one after another. Alright guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for being here today. We truly appreciate all your love and support. So, have fun, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.